transformers are the complete heart of any electrical network, stepping up the voltage and down the voltage. You cannot have a grid really without them. Either on-site ones all the way up to the supergrid transformers or the small little pole-mounted ones you see every now and again. You need these transformers. And at the heart of every transformer is what they call grain-oriented electrical steel. So it's, it's at the very core of the transformer and it's critical to what a transformer is. And this is highly specialized steel and it's not made in very many places. So, I mean, in Europe, I think there's only about three or four factories that make it. In America, they went down to one. But it's, it's a highly, highly specialized thing to make this core of it. So, and there's a queue. If everybody has all this money, Microsoft can't buy the way ahead of the queue versus Google, who can't buy it ahead of Amazon, et cetera, et cetera. So everybody else in the queue is, is the same amount of money. Then the other problem you have is when you do have the core, you have to make the transformer. And to make the transformer is a highly, highly labor-intensive process. That is all done by hand. And the reason for that is all to do with the charge in the transformer. They can't use metal tools. What happens is around the core, they build a wooden frame of balsa wood. And then they have to wind copper by hand, in a highly exact way around each one. And each transformer is made by hand. And it takes thousands and thousands of hours to make each one. So you can shout at these people, you can roar at them to build more, you can throw money at it, but it takes years to train a winder. But there's only one of Fritz or Hans who can actually do this highly skilled work. And he's not going to work, you know, rush himself just because your name is Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates or whatever. You just have to get in line.